ladies and gentlemen, this is Hunger for Our Roots. Let's not beat around the bush here, mate. Um, you're just about to give me one of your babies. The key's in my hand. Now, I know, from, yeah, I know I'm from <laughs> Auckland. I know you've invested a lot of blood, sweat and tears into this beast. And I feel like a bit of a trust fund kid. But, uh, mate, talk to me. Do you trust me? I trust you, mate. Yeah. Are you ready to see it? Yeah, please give me a visual. Let's have a look. Chuck the sign out, slippery when wet, mate. She's coming out. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Look at the state of that. Nick, you've spent a lot of time with this, mate. Yeah, the whole it's, team has, mate. It's, yeah. it's essentially a Swiss Army knife on wheels. It is. But I like to call it the Kim Kardashian on wheels, you know? Yep. Now, why don't we go around and you start boasting about her assets because let's, um, I'm let's hungry. Let's start up the front, mate. And, um, up here, we've got the ARB Gulba. Um, obviously, they look part on the 79 series. Yeah. Um, we're also running Solus. Intensity spotlights. We've got the ARB swag. Um, we'll carry on on the outside for now. Up the top, we've got the smart tent. The spare wheel mount that fits anything from a 30 up to a 37. Yeah. This is a 37, so she's probably as big as you can go on the back, but not many rigs around this country run 37s. We've got a, we've got a ladder to access the top. We've got a jerry can holder that doubles as a rubbish bin. A couple of undermount toolboxes, rear slide out drawer, and then we've got all the goods inside that you deal with as well. We've also got the rhino rack. Yeah. Bat wing, so that's 270 awning on the top, that will wrap right around the back. Um, all of your cooking, your fridge, everything is on this side and all your power. Home away um, from home. She's fully set up for touring and I'm pretty sure we're going to see some epic stuff happen over the next few I can't weeks. wait to make her purr and actually get off road, so uh, I'm sick of hearing you talk. Thank you for the keys Here we go, and mate. thank you so much mate, no I'll worries. make you proud. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to get it dirty. Well, the assignment's pretty simple. Firstly, pull over and put a towel fast up my ass because the other three haven't been working. I'm clogged up to the days. And um, as you can hear over the, the intercom, the M2 ambassadors, Dan and Rosie Tong, are actually leading us astray to the Kaimanawa Ranges where uh, we're going to do a bit of four wheel driving, some ripping and tearing, hopefully find ourselves a seeker. Come and um, yeah, you just shut up. And also, <laughs> and also um, just use and abuse all the facilities on this truck. So. Uh, we're in for a hell of a treat. Cheers for um, a bit of, yeah, cheers for the patience. You know, it's just, I feel like a baby giraffe that's just, you know, just come out the womb. First couple steps. <laughs> but I tell you what, yeah, it's a good thing I won't be snoring tonight because I can't breathe. I honestly feel like Ben Cousins after a bender, so. Yeah. Any tabs, mate? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, put a, put a camera on. Yeah, with a bit of luck, you might be changing my oil tonight as well. So uh, that's all good stuff. But a uh, hell of a trip in. Obviously, uh, we're a bit rushed uh, after picking up the big guzzler. But uh, I think it's time just to set up camp, uh, erect our tents. And uh, if we're lucky, maybe get to know each other over a, a, a trister. Yeah. Couple yeah, of nice. And uh, maybe a piece of cheese as well. Um, <laughs> I'm really into that. So... Uh, <laughs> Taking the ladder out here. How are you fixing again down from there? Where's Bertie's ladder? <laughs> <laughs> we'll ease into it. Get Try it. Diff locks in. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Get some wheels spinning. Bit of action. Uh, yeah, how hard are we talking? How hard's this terrain? Oh, well. You 
not many people go there because it's pretty, pretty <laughs> gnarly. Mate, it but, looks uh, like you won't be going there as well with that, that slow flat, so I'm glad that we addressed that problem. Yeah. But um, I'm absolutely frothing to, uh, to get this thing muddy today, so that's, that's good stuff. And a few river crossings, test out those snorkels. And um, yeah, it's going to be, eh? yeah, be a lot of fun. So uh, hey, just be, be kind to me, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to be stuck here day one. Oh well, this morning's got all the ingredients for a, a pretty much a perfect day. The big yellow's out, uh, she's nice and crispy, and the boys are on an absolute mission to, uh, to put the big girl through her paces. And uh, yeah, a bit of a concern actually, for me anyway. Dan's got a bit of a flat tyre, but he just laughs it off. So um, he reckons that he gets a flat on this, this part of the, the river crossings and stuff today all the time. So hopefully uh, with these big wheels, the Maxxis Razor mud terrains, they'll see us right. But um, mate, we're in for an absolute rip snorter of an adventure. But uh, mate, so where we go from here? So um, there's a track off to our right here. Yeah. We're going to sort of follow that and then come down the base, follow the river at the yeah. bottom of Mount Narahoe there, and um, hopefully see how far we can get. Easy tracking? Uh, no. No. no we're, so we're going to. Any adjustments to the car? Yeah, so that's why we've pulled up here. We'll yeah. um, air out. We'll yeah. let a bit of pressure out of your tyres. Yeah. But of ours, um, we won't have to worry about this fella here because he's already <laughs> going flat. But um, Feeling a bit yeah. deflated. All right. Okay, let's click get her, click her into diff lock and get into it. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, it's right. Oh, did you? <laughs> well, you just pulled it down. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Dan's just helping me out to uh, take some uh, air out of the tyres. Uh, it's sitting currently around 40 psi and we're getting down to about 20 so that just gives you an indication of how much uh, we're deflating and by half so we've got a bit more traction but uh, these big slippers mate Should we hit it? Yeah the wheels are nice and flat so uh, I think we're really rock and roll Into it! Nice. Let's get that DMV pumping. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind coming up. It's just um, you know, burying the hatchet on the first drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at that, I'm nervous for the ranger to go down that. I tell you what, I've uh, been blessed with a big set of can um, plums, man. They've actually just gone inside me. Eh? So I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. Uh, it's probably <laughs> it's a bad thing. It's certainly not the cold. <laughs> <laughs> how do you, yeah, but how do you tackle it? Let's be honest. Slow. Okay, so yeah, slow, come in slow, obviously. It's yeah. a bit, quite a big drop off there, so we obviously, we're really going to get a wheel off the ground. Um, yeah. Ute's sort of going to want to fall yeah. into the bank. Yeah. Um, we're sort of purpose built for it, but yeah. we'll hit the bank. Um, the bank will help us guide down the hill and pretty much just try to stick as hard left as possible. But, um, mm. okay. Fair Basically, enough. just close your eyes and see what no, no, happens. We'll be right. I've been down this, uh, down these, these roads many, many times in life. boy made it easy see I like his confidence hard and fast and he just attacks it once you start overthinking it that's when the problems happen ie right now <laughs> nah, we'll, I think you we'll need to practice one first and then there's a couple other like but like bit this but not as big holes in that yeah and then when we come back out we'll go yeah oh I like that band bro that's good nice
we got going on here? <laughs> Stuck, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Not a land cruiser. <laughs> Lights flashing on the dash. Yeah. That's the front diff lock not locked in. So what you need to do is just go in reverse just a little bit. Yeah. And then go towards a little bit. No, not yet. Now let your foot off the clutch a little bit. Is it hammering clutch? There you go. <laughs> Just a bit of tender love. <laughs> oh well, we eventually got there. Eh? I was a bit nervous. Um, well, apparently I just conquered my first challenge, which uh, we all okay. saw. Took a couple of times. Yeah, we'll be three wheel drive. We'll just pull out that CV and um, yeah, we'll still be able to carry on. It'll be all good. We may be able to get spare parts so we can get back to four wheel drive, but yeah, well, it happens. That's four wheel driving. <laughs> Bloody yeah, what have we done here, Horn? Oh, mate, we're fucking blowing this side out. Oh, heck. That's, uh, that's no easy fix, is it? No, we won't be able to fix it, but we'll rip it out so we can continue. Great. <laughs> you can't fault me. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're pumping your car up here. Oh, is that like a little safety cage around there? Oh, well, this, yeah. this is your um, CV joint. Yeah. It's um, as you can see, it's seen better days. And where did it, where did you shoot it? Where did you shoot yourself in the foot? Was it up here or no? Yeah, just just up here, mate. We uh, we got a wheel off the ground and we're we're giving it a bit of shit because we were stuck. And yeah. Once yeah. it come back down and hit the ground, it. Yeah, and I was laughing. I was actually watching the whole thing. I thought it was quite comical. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> we're laughing now. Oh, I was still laughing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so uh, we're back on this. <laughs> oh, <I'm> just. <laughs> huh? Um, Where's the? <laughs> This little, it's all weird, yeah, mate. Yeah. Oh, there, yeah, that'll work, mate. <laughs> so, um, we were just really, really actually just giving Ann a bit of a lesson on how to pump a tyre up, but. Nah, we're right, um, boys. About to hit the tarmac, so pump the tyres back up. Um, chuck your wagon on. Yeah. And uh, put your compressor on, that might help. That might help, yeah. Oh. Beauty! Uh, so a bit of a gag, obviously the copper just came up the road just to see what we're up to and um, we just got him handcuffing me on the bonnet and uh, we've sent a photo off to Brandon saying up to no good, not a great story and he goes are you having me on and he goes I'll call you soon and he goes what's happened? <laughs> got him! <laughs> oh mate I'll be shit shivering in my boots as well to tell you the truth but um, bit nervy. You can see that, that's not bad. Don't know about the glare, but. Oh, classic. Take 56, mate eater. You see these hush puppies? 
These are the Maxxis Razor 37-inch mud terrain. And boy, do they like to eat mud. Watch this shit, because it's going to be ruthless. Have it out, Torgy! <laughs> deep into the Kaimanawa Ranges, the epicentre so to speak. And you got to celebrate every single milestone in this big girl. And obviously you saw her eating heaps of mud before. Now she's dipping her toes and getting her, all those toe jams washed away, which is just a fantastic sight, isn't it? So we're on our way to find camp and uh, probably got about four or five of these. So uh, bloody hope we get out unscathed. could at least provide entertainment for you mate. Yeah! We are well uh, that was a bit of a fail so we might just shoot up and just have a look crossing through here looks like a better route so and then yeah we might just have to cross this little creek and see how we get on Down the leak, <laughs> she's a bit of bubbles down here. Oh, we've, we've cracked the rim. Well, we've just pulled up here at camp and uh, we're going to start erecting uh, the campsite because a couple of the bosses are coming later on. But you know what I really like? It's a fantastic feature is this fridge has been running the whole time. And the, that means we can switch off the car. It's attached to a lithium battery and that's connected to the solar panel. So 24-7, uh, she's cold as ice. The beers are cold and... Um, no complaints here. Copy, Rosie. Oh, yeah, sweet. How, how far away do you reckon you guys are? Oh, I think we're about eight kilometers out from the turn off. Oh, roger that. Sweet. Uh, well, we'll make our way out to the, um, we'll drive back down the river and pick you guys up and show you where we're camped. Thought we'll go for a bit of a stalk up in the bush, go up the river, 
There were a few punters up there with their dogs today, but hey, we're not going to get anything sitting around camp, so uh, obviously very safety conscious first. No bags because we don't want to make a noise. And we've got Dan on the trigger, so fingers crossed. I'm not a seeker. I'm not a seeker connoisseur. This is probably one of my first times bush bashing, so we're not really sure what to do, but there's a big open field over here down below us by the river. Maybe guessing in the last light that they might come and feed out. So if we get to a good vantage point, might give us an opportunity. There's a bit of sign around, a couple of days old maybe, but I'm just following the master over here. Well, we waited it out for a little bit. And we might spook something on the way back down, but it's gonna be an easy trek back, but we haven't seen anything. Well, it's been a bit day. I don't know where the rest of the boys are gone, but um, it must be time for bed. Just hit the sack. Well, it's an absolute rip snorter of a morning, and what a trip we've had so far. Bit of four-wheel driving with the team, a seeker hunt last night. We stretched the legs to no avail, but it's great to be amongst the flora and fauna. Let's not forget a couple of laughs around the fire, a few too many beers and way too many sausages. So uh, we kept the, the night off in style, which is good. We're packed to the rafters this morning and we're going to go out as a team together to do a bit of four-wheel driving. Rosie's going to take Brandon and his wee little ankle biter Mila. And um, I'm packed next to the big man over here, uh, Rob. He's going to be barking orders and we're going to be doing a bit of four-wheel driving 101, a bit of a safety crash course, which I'm very excited about especially when I come from Auckland and I'm still wet behind the ears. So stay tuned, we're gonna have a few laughs. Yeah. Well spinning, you're just going to dig a hole. So I'll say I'll do a grease of deer or is that alright? Nah, it's just it was right. Yeah, just for now. Mate, you can bark the waters. It's black and white. Yeah, there's room for improvement. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Try that. Boy, the trigger up. Yeah. drama, old Rob's been stuck on a rock after our four wheel driven, driving 101. <laughs> Didn't keep his peepers open. Watch the road mate. <laughs> <laughs> so now uh, I want to get him out of a sticky situation and be a hero for the day.
episode one done and dusted. Now it's uh, the opportunity to go cross swords with my mate Byron and let the dogs out on some swine. Sell partner.